This morning we're announcing the location for the Sunshine Coast Broadband International Submarine Cable Landing Station, which will be here in uh, Maud Street, Maroochydore, right adjacent to the new CBD. And this will be a, is a critical part of the process of the installation of the submarine cable. Uh, this landing station will be developed with an objective in mind of uh, being able to cater for up to four international cables in time. Clearly as we construct it now, we have the opportunity to build in that opportunity for the future and we don't want to miss that because we think the Sunshine Coast has already, uh, well, is on, well on the way to establishing itself as a, an international point of connectivity uh, and that will continue to grow in the future. Essentially this is where the cables, after they've come ashore, uh, will um, uh, be located and where the connection then to other landside networks will facilitate the uh, easy access, uh, quicker times and lower cost that uh, this cable will bring to not only the Sunshine Coast and South East Queensland but over time to the entire state of Queensland. This is such a critical piece of infrastructure and over time uh, we'll, we've all got to work together to help our citizens on the Sunshine Coast and the broader region appreciate the opportunities it will provide, uh, the, the business it will attract. It's such an important foundation stone for modern industry uh, to be able to easily connect to these sorts of cables. Um, and quite frankly, you know, that's why it's been such an important project for Council and one that you know, we kept well and truly under wraps until we were well placed to be able to make the initial announcement because you know, A, we didn't want copycats and B, we didn't want spoilers. Um, the fact of the matter is we've now got a very dominant position in the state of Queensland, uh, but that dominant position will be, you know, whilst we'll be on a hot spot here on the Sunshine Coast, there will be advantage right across the state and that's always been my intention to, to particularly help those areas in the far north and far west that they also are playing on a level playing field when it comes to international communications. In Australia as you're aware there are currently only four cables coming into Sydney um, and one proposed for Perth. You know we, we have bringing it ashore at the Sunshine Coast ensure that um, you know we're the closest point of contact to Asia. Uh, and that is going to be a really powerful position statement for us to adopt in the future. It'll get underway next year, be completed uh, toward the end of 2019, uh, in readiness for the cable to arrive uh, in the first half of 2020.